So welcome to the third video of this week of uh, seven videos. We are going to talk about the uh, drawing back and the aiming during the shot. So uh, Jaap is going to uh, shoot the way he shoots and then I'm going to give him some pointers and uh, see if we can uh, make it even better. So uh, Jaap has a uh, tendency to, uh, when he draws back, to draw with his whole body. Um, and I am a big fan of uh, keeping this all straight, just using your arms and shoulders so that when you draw back your bow, basically your body stays still and uh, only your arms move. So um, I, uh, I would like Jaap to stand still now and uh, basically focus on just his arms doing all the work uh, with his shoulders. So. Yeah, so that he doesn't he doesn't fall back into uh, into his anchor, but uh, brings his hand to his face uh, rather than the other way around. So you can see at the last moment that he still tries to go back a bit. This can be an indication of a draw length being a little long. So uh, I have a suggestion. Um, I'm gonna make you shoot an arrow with my bow and see what you uh, what you end up doing with that one. So this is not a great example for only draw length because the bow is also heavy to lift and uh, heavy to pull back for Yap, but uh, that'll just increase the mistakes that he's gonna make probably with his bow. So uh, yeah. So if you watch his head uh, at the last phase of drawing back, you can see that this is still fine. Now he gets to his normal draw length and then he has to adjust with his head to get to the draw length needed to get to the clicker. And even then he's still five centimeters short. So uh, if your draw length is too long, it's easy to draw back and just try to get through your clicker like that or... Okay. Yeah. You'll, see, you'll see the difference. Yeah, so look at his left shoulder and his head and then his elbow going all the way under the arrow. His chest comes up. So basically that's what happens when you have a long draw length and it's... Uh, it's non-ideal, so uh, make sure your draw length is okay. We have a, uh, a video about this uh, and I'll link it up there. So uh, you can click on that if you want to learn more about draw length and clicker. So this is a good example of uh, a draw length that's too short. I am now shooting with Jaap's bow, which uh, makes sense. If my bow is too long for Jaap, Jaap's bow is too short for me. And you'll see that it's difficult for me to get to the proper line alignment and uh, to get the right tension while pulling back. So. So you can see that I have to really slouch uh, and I cannot get to the, uh, the ideal lines and the ideal draw. Uh, in my, when my draw length is too short. So that's uh, a good example of uh, what a short draw length looks like. So in my opinion, there's three steps to the draw. Uh, for me, it starts quite easy. I have an open stance and um, I basically lift my bow in an open stance with my shoulders as well. So there's an angle in my shoulders. I lift my bow with an angle. Then I put my shoulders in line. So that basically means in line. I mean my left hand, left shoulder and right shoulder are in a straight line with each other. So lift, put it in line. And you can see that I have a lot of draw length already after putting my shoulders in line without even doing anything with my right arm. So that's only the fact that I twist my core and twist my shoulders into place. So lift the bow, put my shoulders into line, then I start pulling with my uh, arm and, and my back. So the back of my arm and the back of my shoulder start working. So lift, uh, put in line, draw back, and I typically draw a little under my chin because that's where I'm the strongest, that's where I engage the right muscles. And then I go up 
into Anchor, which is something that we will talk about in the next video. So Jaap has just started doing this, uh, this recurve thing. So for him, the, putting the shoulders into the right place, so the, the alignment that I told you about just now with his hand and his two shoulders is still something that he's working on, uh, which makes for draw length difference, but uh, that's a matter of just doing it a lot. You can see he lifts his bow, then puts his shoulder into place, pulls slightly down, and then goes up into anchor. So essentially, his shooting is uh, the same as mine, uh, and I think there is a, um, and I think that that's one of the easiest uh, ways to do it. Um, uh, you can see he, his shoulders are not in line yet. He will lift his bow now, and now he comes with his shoulder in line, and then he goes downwards a little bit. You can see that there was a gap, goes up, and then starts extending. I think this is a very good way of doing it, and. Uh, yeah, as long as Jaap uh, keeps doing this and uh, keeps practicing that he will get the hang of it. So this is my version of drawing back a bow. Uh, there's multiple ways of doing it. You have the KSL angular draw, you have the uh, I would say the Kim Hyung Tuck, uh, the Korean draw, where you go completely straight and very high up before you start drawing. But um, in my opinion, the way I do it is very simple and very uh, easy to repeat. So uh, yeah, it's not the only way, but it's a good way for um, beginners. So. So lifting the bow, pulling back. There's no moment of uh, standing still because if you stand still and then have to start again, it's much heavier than when you just keep going slowly. So last off, uh, about aiming. Uh, we think that aiming is not necessarily something you can learn except for just doing it a lot. Uh, a lot of repetition will make your aiming probably better. Um, and uh, if you really want to get better at aiming, you can uh, look at the video that I'm going to put right over there. Uh, we made a video about it uh, and gave you some pointers on how you can uh, get a little more stable. But for the rest, it's just doing it a lot uh, and uh, trusting the process because forcing aiming will probably not make it better. Letting it happen will. So uh, aiming is a movement. Aiming is not necessarily standing completely still. And if you embrace the movement and uh, trust yourself and uh, your corrections that you'll make, you'll probably be better off. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for uh, watching and uh, see you tomorrow on the, the next episode. <laughs>